Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Ooh, it's been a long time since I recorded a video and that is because nothing honestly has really been happening. Um, today is, uh, let me turn this off. All right, so today is November the 3rd and my surgery is officially in 19 days. I am getting nervous and excited. So we'll start this video, video off with a quick weight loss update. So currently I am 180. My goal is to hopefully be 178. If I can lose two more pounds before surgery and be 178, 177, I will be completely satisfied. Um, my starting weight at this year, if you haven't seen my previous, previous weight loss video was 216, 218. So I, I'm very proud of myself and what I have been able to accomplish this year as far as weight loss. Um, I did hit a few hiccups in the road, but that is, that's, that's, that is what it is. Um, so this video is going to be a supply video and let's get started. We'll start with what you see. The biggest thing is my recliner. Um, it's currently in my bedroom. Um, it is rented from Renner Center and I probably keep it for the month and then just go ahead and return it. I like this one in particular because there is a built-in heater and massage for it so this would be my bed for about two three weeks after surgery and of course i'll just have some pillows to prop up in it um, also what you don't see or what i don't have to show you is i have a shower chair already set up in my shower ready to go and i have a walker in my garage and i'll bring that out like the um probably like the day before surgery um Okay, I'm still recording, making sure I got a notification. Next, what we're gonna bring out is I ordered most of my supplies except one came from Amazon, just to let you know. So this is a lap desk. Um, and it does have a clip holder and a slot for your tablet down here. I got this because I am in the first semester of my senior year of school and I still have homework to do. My courses this semester do not end until December the 3rd. I've already written my professors, so that week of December 20, of November 22nd, I'm gonna complete my work the week of November 16th, if that makes any sense. So in the following week, I will be doing work. Um, just in case I'm feeling up to it the week of surgery, I got a lap desk to kind of help me get through it. Um, so I hope that comes in handy. All right, we'll do clothing items first. So this is the only thing that I did not get from Amazon. I actually got this from Wally World um, and it was, how much was this? $16.94 and I got this, this would be my day of surgery outfit. And I got this because it's buttoned down in the front and it's pants and I don't really feel comfortable riding around in a car um, getting out with nothing up under my nightgown and it's up, you know, my birthday suit. So that's why I got this. I feel like it'll be a little bit more comfortable to wear. Next for clothing, I got a few of these actually. Um, I've already started wearing these. They're so comfy. But I got like these like little um, button up pajama dresses from Amazon. So I got that color. I got this one. Yeah, and I got one in blue and green that are in the washing machine now. I also got like these um, seamless tank tops to put up under my up under my clothes and then I'll have my compression garment on top. So these came in a three pack of black, um, gray, black, and white. 
nets. What I want you? Oh, I got a few packs of compression socks. So these are 15 to 20 um, mmh G. So how many came in this pack? I think maybe eight are in this pack. I'm not sure. I think it's eight pairs of compression socks in this pack. I made sure to get plenty of compression socks to change and, you know, my nightgowns, I'll just wash those every few days so I can have something fresh to put on. Um, yep, I got some more. It's not compression socks. I got... Yeah, more compression socks. Um, this is a post-surgical drain kit. And if I'm not mistaken, this, yeah, this is to um, hold my drains in uh, for when I'm taking like a shower, they're waterproof. And just so I have something to hold my drains for when I have on my nightgowns. Um, when I have on the pants, I don't mind clipping them to the bottom of my compression socks. I actually have like a longer nightgown. Um, that I got from when I was supposed to go to Miami to have my surgery done. Um, I'll wear these, um, I'll clip those on my socks then, but when I'm wearing the short ones, I'll prefer to keep something like this because I have three kids, one an 18 month old. My older two kids are 10 and eight, but the 18 month old is, he a rough rider, okay? And I don't want him pulling on my drains. So that's what this is for. And when I take a shower, um, I also got some high-waisted underwear. I got like, this is some more packs in the room, but I think I got three packs of these. Is that all for clothing? Okay, yep, that is all for clothing. Um, next, I have, oh, here's another pack of underwear. Um, next, I have this abdominal binder. And it's a postpartum support binder, but I'm getting cut in the same area I had my C-section in, so I figure I can use it for tummy tuck control. And uh, let's see, this is what it will look like, except I got it in black. And hopefully y'all can see that. Yeah. So this is my support binder. Now one is included in for my surgery, but I just got an extra one when I'm cleaning that one. Next, I have a, this is a spirometer and it's supposed to help you measure um, how much output you're putting out when you blow out air. So you suck your air in and then you just blow as hard as you can for it. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I think you want to get around 25 to 2,500 or 3,000. I got to look it up to see. But yeah, it's just to make sure that your lungs are good. Um, when I had my C-section with my oldest two, I used one of these. And it's supposed to help prevent pneumonia also. So I just purchased one just to make sure that as far as like lung-wise, I'm good. Next, I got... This won't be used until after, um, until I get clearance from the doctor. But I got some antibacteria pads to go over to kind of keep my incision dry. I got some silicone tape, and this definitely won't get any use until the incision is closed. Honestly, I think maybe like around six weeks is when you can start using it. So, yeah, and this is just for scar treatment. Also, what's not shown, I got some uh, Opti Recovery, I think it's called. It's like a recovery pill that's supposed to provide vitamins and stuff to help out with healing. Um, I I don't know why I got this big body of HIPAA cleanse. So I got HIPAA cleanse to wash off um, the day prior to surgery and the day of surgery. It's an antibacterial, so I got that. And then um, I used this when I had my, when I had my kids. Um, didn't use this one in particular, but I purchased one, but it's just a period body to help clean the girl because I know it's probably gonna be a few days before I can take a shower and yeah, I'm gonna need the, you know what that means. Yeah, squirt something down there. 
So that's what that is for. I use the Flow app to track my cycle. My cycle literally comes on the day of surgery. <sighs> that's all I can say is all right. So I got some um, discreet depends. Always, as always, yeah. It's always underwear. So I got these just in case there's leakation. Um, I pr I normally wear tampons, but I'm not sure how I'm gonna feel about wearing tampons after surgery. Um, if I feel comfortable, yes, I will use it. Honestly, for the first night or so, I'll probably be too out of it to even consider it. So that's why I got um, those for. And honestly, that is it for my surgery supplies. Now, what my pre-op appointment is set for November the 13th. Um, my surgery will be with Dr. Eric Wise, located in Orange Park, Florida, right outside of Jacksonville, Florida. That's where I current, that's where I live. Um, my total surgery price is $9,200. So I will pay the remainder. I had to pay a $500 deposit. I will pay the remainder of my surgery fees at my pre-op appointment. And I did email my doctor. I will be recording what happens at pre-op and then I'll do a surgery day vlog also. Um, and I'll get my boyfriend to record um, that for me. I am very excited, slightly nervous um, because of all that happened with me going to Miami. I'm actually trying to calm down my excitement, like how excited I am and not really show it. But as time gets on, I'm kind of like, <sighs> <sighs> and as I'm talking to my coworkers, I've mentioned it to a few of them. Like, hey, I'm going to be out for a few weeks. This is why. Um, I've actually had several coworkers that are thinking about going through the same thing. So that kind of makes it more easy. I'm going to be the test dummy out of, for a few of them. Um, honestly, that is it for my supplies. I thought this video would be longer. You know what I'll do? Um, I will include a body shot in this video now also. And then you'll, of course, see it when I do my next upload um, for my pre-op appointment. Again, that is November the 16th. So let me show you what this body is looking like, y'all. Let's do some adjusting. Okay. We'll go down here. Okay. So, honestly, like, when my pants are pulled up, like, the upper part of my belly is pretty flat now. It is after work, y'all. I don't ate and did this, but typically in the morning, this part is very flat. But, y'all, it's, it's, yeah, it's this thing down here that gotta go, y'all. Hold on. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's the girl. She, it gotta go. Okay. And this is why I'm having a tummy tuck. It, yeah. What the thing on white chick said, Tina the talking tummy, she gotta go. So, that was a bad angle. That is why, for those who are questioning. Oh, sorry about that cut off. But that is why, for those who are questioning, why are you having a tummy tuck? That is why. Um, I've said it before. I'm a mother of three. All my children are born via C-section. I have a 10-year-old, 8-year-old, and an 18-month-old. And this is just something that I want to do for myself. It is an early graduation gift to myself because when I do graduate in the summer, I want to be banging. When I walk across the stage, and I want to be all healed up, okay? So, yeah. Any questions that you may have? leave them down below i'm thinking maybe including micah in one of my blogs to maybe give his perspective or a male thought perspective when your partner goes through a surgery we'll see normally he'll, he'll be down for it we'll see we'll see all right until next time which be at pre-op i will see you then stay beautiful and bless hey you yeah you don't forget to hit that subscribe button